What's up, family? I'm County Commitment Dion Powell of the 79th Semi District in the Bronx. I'm also with the Strong Love Achievements Foundation. And as many of you probably know, I'm the Assistant State Director of Blexit New York. I just want to thank everybody, friends, family, and beyond that came out and supported us last Saturday for our big Blexit rally. Social media and beyond, you guys, we love you. Put your reputations, careers, and literally lives in the streets fighting Antifa to make this happen. So wonderful love to you guys. But I have some sad news. Regretfully, I have to inform everybody that I will be leaving Blexit and resigning. Um, this has come to much regret because our founder, Candace Owens, really dropped the ball this weekend when in terms of leadership for our members that I believe she totally disrespected by not showing up and other matters behind the scenes that I'll go into another time. And I just want to make sure everybody knows that our black elected officials here in New York City were MIA. They were missing. Because normally we have all these other elected officials that are white, LGBT, progressive, Asian, Latin, triple X, you know, call people hate groups, white supremacists, you know, homophobes and, you know, January Sixers like us at Blex in New York. Normally you guys are at the front of the line co-signing and uh, hate has no place in New York and meeting your chest. But why weren't black elected officials in New York at the forefront of trying to cancel our venues and putting us on blast on social media? Where were you? When knowing me in this political game, I'm going to find out and get back to you on that. A big shout out to Madeline Brain, my big sis, the Blexit State New York director, for bringing me into leadership in 2021. I love you so much, big sis. This has been the most spiritually fulfilling work I've ever done in my life because Blexit was the only organization in New York City, African American led, that fought against the mandates, fighting for the people that got hurt from being fired from not taking the vaccine and fighting for our people's jobs. Blexit New York was the only one that brought in school choice to help people that lost everything give them the tools necessary to homeschool their children and the many homeschooling cooperatives here in New York City. I know parents with tears in their eyes thanking me that they're not going to send their child to get vaccinated to schools because it's not safe with the sexualized curriculum, now with the migrants, and that we're giving the schools necessary to help them succeed. And my spirit just goes through the roof. And according to national black home educators, homeschooling in black America since 2020 to present has gone from 6% to 70% nationwide and growing. And being a part of Lexus to promote that was great. But Madeline, we love you. New York knows Madeline Brain. The country knows Madeline Brain. The problem is you can never outshine the boss, Candace Owens. And she has more credibility in the streets, always on Fox News, always putting out district attorneys on blast, always calling out of the violence in New York City and the gun anti-violence industry that makes so much money of our people's deaths and suffering here in uh, New York. So I'm going to make a major move. So on Saturday coming up, June 24th, at the Metropolitan Republic, come, come see me as I take the exit from Blexit and I hashtag walk away. Again, I'm County Commitment Dion Powell. I'm leaving the Democratic Party. I'm going to be joining question number 14 of your voter registration form and hopefully becoming a district leader in the Bronx Conservative Party. And uh, just like my mentor, Kevin Brown, aka dot com, taught me in comedy class, you come on the stage with a boom and you go out with a bang. Peace.